today we're going to go over the three main baits you need to catch bass in Florida. Oops, shit, you got it. Let him play, let him play. Right here in Miami. There it is. So pretty much, you know, you go into these stores, you go into Academy, Bass Pro, Dicks. There's just lines and lines of colors and textures and worms and jigs and baits. I got a whole tournament boat full of just everything. And honestly, I don't even use all of it, all right? It's, fr it's really simple, all right? If you want to catch bass in Florida, you need three things. The first thing you need to get, okay? now. I'm not sticking to a brand. There are brands like it, but I'm just telling you what works for me. Gary Yamamoto, okay? Actually, this one, all right? Green pumpkin, a green pumpkin Yamasenko, okay? You take a Yamasenko and you Texas rig it, and I will put a video up here somewhere, a link to how to Texas rig, okay? If you have a green pumpkin, Gary Yamamoto Senko, you're gonna catch fish, all right? Now, also it comes down to you gotta realize what's in the water, if there's a lot of hydrilla getting snagged, ways to put your hook. But, you know, you, you'll soon figure that when you start reeling in and catching on a bunch of crap, you'll know you gotta either reel in faster or, or you know, you wanna cast it into somewhere where it can drop down and get through the hydrilla and weeds and stuff, okay? So, I'm telling you right now, Gary Yamamoto, Green Pumpkin Senko is honestly that, that if, if I had one thing to fish with, uh, well, I'd say two. But one of my two to fish with, if they told me all you can fish with is this one bait or two baits, and that's all you can use to survive in the state of Florida. This Gary Yamamoto, okay, Green Pumpkin Yamasenko would 100% be one of my choices of the two, okay? Now, the green pumpkin works in any kind of water, um, mainly light tannic water. Um, it works really well. Um, you just read on it, it'll say actually, and this one here is actually a watermelon, but the green pumpkin looks like it. I actually don't have any in this bag because this is my um, bag that I keep in my truck. It was like my emergency fishing bag and I did a video on that. Um, what to carry in your truck just to always have. I'll put that video up here somewhere too. So you can click on that and see what I carry in my truck just on a daily basis. Just see a pond, boom, catch fish. But um, that's the first one, okay? Yamamoto Green Pumpkin. Uh, anything in Green Pumpkin works. But this, if I had to run into a store and I had to grab something and this was available, this is what I would grab. All right, now and that's good for light water uh, tannic water, it's pretty much good in all water, but the next thing, the next worm is another Gary Yamamoto, all right? Um, you wanna get black and blue Senko. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's it's, it's a black Senko with um, blue specks in it. All right, put that up there for you. Get that, there we go, see those flecks in it? Specks. Uh, this is good for dark water. You get somewhere where the water's dark, you put this in there, you can either wacky rig it. Uh, I will put a video up here on how to wacky rig. Or you can Texas rig it, which is a video I, I should have already popped in the top somewhere to begin this video. So remember, you're gonna run to the store and you gotta grab two, two kind of worms, okay? You wanna grab two kind of worms, you wanna make sure you get something that looks like a green pumpkin, okay? Something, it doesn't have to be the green pumpkin, but it has to look green, okay? And if you could find the one that says green pumpkin, that is the one I'm talking about, all right? And the black and blue. Now, there's one that I would say is possibly my, my number one top bait that I use. I've caught my personal best on it. I'll put a picture up somewhere here, my personal best. Um, I always carry this on my rod 
that's in my truck and it is always what I cast with first anywhere I go. What it is is, grab it. It is a yellow belly rattle trap, okay? Right here. Yellow belly rattle trap. This right here, you will catch bass in Florida. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you say. This is always my first cast, every single time. I keep this on all my reels. It's first cast, all right? Now, if I'm tournament fishing and I pretty much know, you know, it's when you get deeper, and this video is not about that, but it's when you get deeper into knowing what works in certain lakes, and when you're in a tournament, you gotta know what to catch the fish first. Yeah, I have different poles we get for certain, certain things. If I'm just driving around and don't know the pond, Wesley Chapel, for instance, ton of ponds, Trinity, um, the Pinellas area, uh, Palm Harbor, ton of ponds. First cast right here, baby. This right here is gonna let you know, I use that as kind of like a searcher bait, all right? I caught my personal best on this, it was like nine pounds. Every single place that I fish, Orlando, loaded with ponds. I've always caught fish on this right here, okay? And I always throw it first. And when you catch fish, you're gonna hit it hard. So what it looks like when you buy it in Walmart, and, and they come in a bunch of different packs, but the one they're selling now is uh, that. That's what it's selling. I think they're like $2, three, max four. But um, I always keep two or three of them. You know, I just keep two or three of them. But you wanna get a yellow belly blue top rattle trap, okay? That's a guarantee. Three guaranteed baits to catch in Florida, which is the reason why I made this video. Green pumpkin Yamasenko, black and blue Yamasenko, yellow belly rattle trap, okay? Now, once you get confident with your rattle traps, you know, you can go to different kind of rattle traps. You know, you got other kinds, which I'll show briefly. You got all sorts of rattle traps, which honestly, I caught peacock bass on them because uh, when you're fishing with for peacock bass, you gotta use shiners. That's a shiner. I caught them on there. Now, as you can see, oh, sorry, I just woke up. As you can see, uh, this is my always keeping the truck rod and reel and what's on it. See that? I didn't get it to focus. That's what's on it. A yellow belly rattle trap with a blue top. And this is a bait caster reel, which for people who are just starting off, don't even touch a bait caster reel. Uh, you don't want to, and I'm, I'm not. I might do a whole video on what the differences are in those, but uh, you want to start off with a spinning reel like this. Uh, this whole setup is a lose setup. I got this whole setup w without the braid. I think it was forty-nine dollars, okay, and the braid is twenty, so sixty-nine dollars. But you're set up with, you know. I personally, I'm not a fanboy. I don't, you know advertise certain things but i'm a shimano guy that's all i use i'm a shimano guy i am sponsored by enigma i do use enigma stuff in tournaments but when it comes down to what i'm using it's shimano uh you're gonna pay big money for it buy once cry once but you know it's just spinning reel and that's pretty much for all you need in florida to catch bass we'll go over it one more time green pumpkin yamasenko i mean green pumpkin Every time we're fishing tournaments, you know why if we're out there fishing tournaments and we're doing something, we know the green pumpkin works. Or just say if we go to lakes, like Lake Griffin beats the shit out of me every time I fish there. But we know the green pumpkin works. So we try not to use it. But when it's desperate times, green pumpkin to catch a fish. So remember, green pumpkin is for uh, pretty much anywhere, but I stay out of dark water with it. If you're in dark water, you want the black and blue, okay? And, um, and you want to use your your, your rattle trap. Rattle trap work in any color because the rattle trap makes a rattling sound. Uh, you could probably hear it. And what happens is it rattles. Now, one thing you want to really look for for this to be successful, successful, big, big time. Look into your skies, okay? If you got a blue sky with that sun bearing down, this is 100%. This is going to work because it's going to flicker, okay? If there's no sun out, the fish are going to mainly depend on the sound. But if there's sun out, they're gonna have the sound, then see the flicker. So that's pretty much something that you, you really wanna look into. 
uh, making sure that you have the flicker. Now, um, for those of you who just don't really care about, you know, the artificial stuff, I get it, man. I started off fishing with corn in the Passaic River in Passaic, New Jersey when I was a kid and catch a ton of stuff. But you can go to Walmart and you can get their earthworms, okay? And I have a fresh water set up here, another set up here. All you do is pretty much another spinning reel, put a bobber on, all right? And you have your hook and you can see there's actually an old dead worm on there. You put your worm on there, all right? You cast them out and watch your bobber. You'll catch bass, you'll catch brim, you'll catch a bunch of stuff. But if you just, you wanna go old school with worms, worms work, man, worms work with patience. Cast it out with a barber, let it sit. Um, artificial baits like these, you have to actually make it work. See, a worm works for you. The worm is alive. These you have to make work. So you have to take them out and bring them in and kind of let them sit up and down. But um, like I said, any questions, uh, feel free to email me. Um, and that's pretty much the three things you need to catch bass in Florida. And trust me, it's gonna work. I guarantee you it's gonna work. If you if it don't work, I'll put up a video showing you it works. Uh, one thing I wanna say is I'm trying to get a lot of subscribers. Uh, pass these videos on please to your friends and, and click and remember, when you click a like on this video, you put me in the algorithm so more people can watch my videos. It helps me out, man. It helps me get, you know, time to make more videos. It just, it helps out a lot with, with the whole community I'm trying to build. Um, and subscribe, please. And hit the little um, button on the bottom. I'll tell you when I'm putting new videos up. And we'll have new videos up. Any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. But these are the three things you need to catch bass in Florida. Trust me. Out. Mm -hmm.